Hi, my name is Mike and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Latin percussion in regards to the conga drum. Right in front of me you see two different sized drums. They're also pitched differently, a low drum and a high drum. The low drum is what we call a tumba, tumbador, it's the low drum. The, dr the drum I have in between my legs right here is a conga drum, the segundo or dos golpes. Okay? Uh, you'll hear it called different names, but this is a tumba, this is a conga, and sometimes you'll see a third drum, a higher pitched drum, and that is known as the quinto. Um, for our purposes today, we're just going to use two drums, and I'm going to teach you just a basic mambo slash cha-cha pattern that you can use with your groups. Um, first of all, let's talk about how we're going to strike the drum. Uh, what I like to use is, uh, first of all, I want to make sure my hand is in a blade, uh, no space or light in between my fingers so I can get a nice strong surface uh, to pull the tone out of the drum. But when I strike the drum, I want to strike the drum uh, with the fatty part of my fingers where most of the meat. I want to try to pull the sound out of the drum. It's really no different than a drummer uh, with a stick. You strike the drum and you pull the sound out of the head. The only difference is instead of a stick we're going to use our hands. So when I go to strike the drum, I want to I want to pull the drum, the sound out of the drum. Whether it's the low drum or the high drum. The fatty part of my palm is going to rest against the bearing edge of the drum. And it's going to as I strike the drum, my, the fatty part of my palm is going gonna, is gonna to strike the bearing edge of the drum. Now for purposes today, I'm sitting. Sometimes you might have your drums on a stand. Uh, when I'm sitting, and many other drummers do this as well, is I'd like to um, create some space between the floor and the drum so we can get more sound out of the drum, as opposed to just letting them lie flat. Here's what the drum sounds like without lifting it, uh, any part of it off the floor. Kind of muted, not very resonant, but just by pulling it back and supporting it with the inside of my thighs, it actually changes the pitch of the drum and it creates a more resonant sound. So that is kind of some of the basics on how we're going to strike the drum. Now, with our hands, we can create many different sounds, different patterns. All these patterns that I'm teaching you are for a right hand dominant person. If you are left hand dominant, all you would have to do is do the inverse of what I'm teaching. Alright, so what I'm going to teach right now is a just a basic mambo or cha-cha pattern that can be laid over a lot of different types of music, whether it be uh, certain types of Latin jazz, pop tunes. Uh, it's a pretty versatile rhythm that you can use at various tempos. This pattern is going to utilize a couple different strikes with the hands to get a few different tones out of the drum. The first thing that we're going to do is palm strike and it's going to be a rocking back motion between our, our the, the palm and the fingers. Okay? So the, the hand's going to come down uh, to, on the top third of the drum fingers are going to come up and back down on the drum and we're just going to practice that rocking back and forth motion. Make sure that we're getting both parts of the, of the hand to speak. One hand, one hand, one hand, one hand. The second sound that we're going to utilize in this pattern is the slap. We achieve the slap by taking the fat part of our palm and striking against the bearing edge of the drum and letting our fingers kind of slap against the drum head like you would, uh, like if you were striking somebody with a towel. So I keep my fingers loose as I strike the drum head with my palm to pull that sound to get the slap. And notice it's from the forearm. 
not from the shoulder. The next tone that we're going to utilize is an open sound where we just connect with the drum and we pull the tone of the drum out with the fat part of our fingers. So this part of, the, of our hand we're going to use to pull the sound out of the drum. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the pattern before I break it down for you. We'll take it at kind of a saw, uh, slower tempo. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and break this pattern down. First we have on count one, our whole hand comes down, our left hand comes down on the drum. On the end of one, I'm going to raise the front half of my hand and bring it back down. That rocking motion that we were talking about. One hand, one hand, one hand, one hand. Let's go to count two. I'm going to take that rocking motion and then as soon as I come down, I'm going to take my right hand and on count two, I'm going to, I'm going to get a pull a slap out of the drum. One and one and notice that this hand doesn't leave the drum. One and hand is still, two is with my opposite hand. Now, we're going to go to the end of two. We have one, and two, and. One, and two, and. It's just like at the beginning, it's just a repeat of count one. One, and two, and. We're just lifting our hand up off the drum and coming right back down again. Notice I don't raise my hand too high. I keep my hand low to the drum. One and one and now we're going to get to count three. One and two and three and. So once again, we're utilizing that rocking motion going from the toe, which is the front part of my hand, to the heel and getting sound out of the drum. So, one, and, two, and, three, and. One, and, two, and, three, and. One, and, two, and, three, and. Now we're going to go all the way through the four count pattern. One, and, two, and, three, and. Open tone. One more time. One and two and three and four and. So that is a basic cha-cha salsa pattern. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit so you can see it kind of in action. One and two and 